Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Now I'm going to start the problems on gratuity, commuted pension, leave and cashment, etc. Last video I have completely explained about the provisions of Income Tax Act regarding the taxability of gratuity, commuted pension, leave and cashment, refund from provident fund, retrenchment, compensation. All these things I have explained in the last video. So if you directly join now, you may not be able to understand because whatever provisions I am applying in this problem are already explained in the last video. So my suggestion, if you want the complete perfection on Income Tax Act, go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject Income Tax for the assessment year 21-22. So watch the video on Retirement Benefits, Retirement Benefits, Gratuity, Commuted Pension, last video. Be acquainted, perfect on the provision, how to find out the tax on gratuity received at the time of retirement and how to uh, apply the tax on the leave and cashment, on committed pension, etc. Be thorough with the provisions, then only you come to this video, you can be able to enjoy, you can be able to understand. Otherwise, income tax will become a difficult subject for you. Now, before starting the problems on retirement benefits, I expect my viewers to take a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problem, then only you can understand the solutions. Take a screenshot of the solutions which I have given, then I will explain each and every problem. Come on, see the first problem. <coughs> problem number one. Problems on retirement benefits to employees. First problem. Sri Raghuram, senior accounts officer in Indian Railways, retired from the service after serving for 28 years. First of all, we have to decide whether government employee or non-government. Here it is given Sri Raghuram working in Indian Railways. Indian Railway is a government department. So SSC is a government employee, first conclusion. He received 9 lakh rupees as gratuity on the date of his retirement. His monthly salary was basic pay 35,000, DA 4,000 and HRA 750. Calculate the taxable amount of gratuity. That is the problem. Very simple provision given by Income Tax Act. Gratuity received by government employees at the time of retirement is fully exempted. Nothing is taxable. Taxable gratuity will be nil, zero, no calculations, nothing. We have decided the SSC is a government employee receiving gratuity at the time of retirement. So completely exempted. The solution will be like this. Sri Raghuram, the SSC is a government employee, so the actual amount of gratuity received is fully exempted. The actual amount received is 9 lakh, exempted is also 9 lakh. The taxable gratuity will be nil. That's it. First problem completed. Second problem. Srimati Sri Devi, a lecturer in government degree college Hyderabad, retired from the service during the previous year relevant to the current assessment year again. The SSC is a government employee and she retired. She completed 32 years of service and received a gratuity of 10 lakh rupees. Her basic salary on the date of retirement was 56,850 per month and DA 24,200 per month. Calculate the exempted amount of gratuity. Again, no need of any calculations, nothing. Only you have to remember the gratuity received by government employee at the time of retirement is fully exempted. Here the SSC is a government employee on retirement after 32 years of service she got the gratuity. Complete gratuity is exempted. How much gratuity she received? 10 lakh rupees gratuity she received. All 10 lakh rupees is exempted. Srimati Sridevi. The SSC is a government employee, so the actual gratuity received at the time of retirement is fully exempted. The exempted gratuity 10 lakh. That's it. Now come to problem number three. Sri Vishnu Vardhan, an employee of a limited company. Uh -huh. 
लिमिटेड कंपनी मीन्स नॉन गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉय Vishnu Vardhan of an employee of a limited company received on 1st July 2020 rupees 13 lakh as gratuity he retired after serving for 35 years at the time of retirement his monthly salary was 52000 if he is covered under the gratuity act calculate the unexempted unexempted amount of gratuity unexempted means taxable how much gratuity is taxable Actual gratuity received thirteen lakh. Thirteen lakh rupees gratuity he received. In that thirteen lakh, how much is exempted? How much is taxable? That we have to find out. So first time we are coming across that C is a non-government employee governed by Payment of Gratuity Act. So in the previous last video I told you for non-government employee you have to see whether governed by Payment of Gratuity Act or not governed by Payment of Gratuity Act. first if the employee is covered under payment of gratuity act least of the following three is exempted the first one actual amount received second 15 days salary into number of years of service completed or a part thereof in excess of 6 months third fixed amount given by the act ceiling 20 lakhs that's it the least of these three is exempted now we'll see how the solution will be will look like sri vishnu vardhan the ssc is a non government employee and is governed by payment of gratuity act step 1 calculating salary every time you have to clear you have to be clear regarding the meaning of the term salary for this gratuity Gra for calculating exempted gratuity salary means salary and da of the retiring month at the time of retirement what is the basic salary and what is the dear that only we should take for salary when salary details are not given then a given amount is taken as salary 52000 in our problem present problem the details are not given how much is the basic how much is the da how much is the commission cchra nothing is given only salary is given so that salary itself will take into account salary is 52000 calculating 15 days salary because in that condition we need 15 days salary into number of years of service completed so how to can compute 15 days salary take the salary last drawn into 15 by 26 already i explained you in detail in the last video so 52000 is the salary 15 by 26 it comes to 30000 now calculating number of years of service completed according to the definition we need number of years of service completed or a part thereof in excess of 6 months but here directly it is given 35 years no fractions so 35 years now calculating the exempted amount the exempted of gratuity is least of the following three first one actual gratuity receipt how much actual gratuity received 13 lakh given in the problem actual amount received 30 lakh 15 days salary for every completed year of service So 15 days salary how much 30 30,000 and how many years of service completed 35 years so 30,000 into 35 comes to 10 lakh 50,000 second point 10 lakh 50,000 third one fixed given by the income tax act ceiling amount that ceiling amount is 20 lakh the so least of these three is 10 lakh 50,000 this is exempted exempted gratuity is 10 lakh 50,000 now in the problem it is asking you unexempted amount unexempted means taxable amount so how much is the gratuity received 13 lakh how much exempted gratuity 10 lakh 50000 so 13 lakh minus 10 lakh 50000 2 lakh 50000 is the unexempted gratuity or taxable gratuity that's all this is the end of problem number 3 i have explained each and every point how to find out the taxable gratuity when the ssc is a non government employee and governed by payment of gratuity act now see the fourth problem sri gopi chand retires from the service of save more company limited during the previous year relevant to the current assessment year save more company limited means non government employee he served the company for 25 years and 8 months the so fraction is also there 
the company paid him 14 lakh as gratuity, actual gratuity receipt. His last salary drawn was basic 38,000, DA 18,500, CCA 2,500, HRA 3,200 per month. Calculate the taxable amount of gratuity. If he is governed by gratuity act and if, if he is not governed by gratuity act. This is a complete problem in which we have to make assumption that SSC is a government, I'm oh, sorry, SSC is governed by payment of gratuity act and secondly SSC is not governed by payment of gratuity act. Both cases we have to see, we have to find out how much is the unexempted gratuity or taxable gratuity. So one by one we will take. Sri Gopi Chant, if he is governed by payment of gratuity act, the SSC is a non-government employee and governed by payment of gratuity act. So step one, calculating salary. If the SSC is covered under the payment of gratuity act, salary means basic plus DA of the retiring month. At the time of retirement, what is the basic and what is the DA? That's only we should take. So here it is given basic is 38,000 and DA is 18,500 given in the problem. We will not take CCA or HRA. Remember, salary means only basic and DA of the retiring month. All these things I have explained in the last video. So 38,000 basic, 18,500 DA, 56,500 is salary. Calculating 15 days salary, so salary into 15 by 26. So 56,500 into 15 by 26, 32,596.15. This is the salary for 15 days. Number of years of service completed or a part thereof in excess of 6 months. It is given in the problem the SSC served 25 years and 8 months. 8 months means more than 6 months. So we count 1 year. So instead of 25 years we take 26 years. Now calculating the uh, exempted amount. The exempted amount is list of the following 3 just like the previous problem. Actual gratuity received 14 lakh given in the problem. Actual gratuity received 14 lakh. 15 days salary into number of years of service completed or a part thereof in excess of 6 months. 15 days salary already we have calculated here. 32,596.15. This is 15 days salary. This will be multiplied by number of years of service. How many years? 26 years. <coughs> so 32,596.15 into 26 will get 8,47,500. Third one fixed. 20 lakh ceiling. The least among these three is 8,46,500 is the exempted gratuity. That's it. Now it is asking you unexempted or taxable gratuity. So actual gratuity received is 14 lakh. From 14 lakh deduct the exempted gratuity 8,47,500 we got it. Deduct will get 5,52,500. This is the taxable gratuity, unexempted gratuity. So first point we have assumed that the SSC is a government employee. Sorry, payment of gratuity act. The SSC is covered under payment of gratuity act. Second case where the SSC is not covered by payment of gratuity act. First time we are seeing this provision. Now, slight difference is there. <coughs> Calculating the average salary. Here we have not calculated the average salary. Here we have taken only salary. Here we have to take average salary. So, uh, calculating average salary, the details of the last 10 months salary is not given, hence salary of the retiring month is taken as the average salary. Actually, for calculating average salary, we need the salary of the last 10 months before the month of retirement. In whichever month he was retiring, before that 10 months salary details we require. But in our problem, we don't have the salary details of the last 10 months. So whatever salary he was earning at the time of retirement, that only will take, right? And basic plus DA. DA will be included if it enters for retirement benefit plus commission if it is based on fixed percentage on turnover. That is by definition. But in our problem, commission is not given. And even salary or DA. DA is not given whether it is entering for retirement benefit or not. We should not take. 
DA will be included only if it enters for retirement benefit given in the problem. If it is given in the problem that DA enters for retirement benefit, then only we should take. Otherwise, DA should not be included. So for calculating this salary, average salary, we take only basic. So how much is the basic? 38,000. Only basic we are taking. Students will commit the mistake in this type of calculation solely. So be clear regarding the meaning of the term salary when governed by payment of Gratuity Act and when not governed by payment of Gratuity Act. That is the difference. So here only basic we have taken 38,000. Step 2. Calculating number of years of service completed. The fraction should be ignored. This is the difference between these two. <coughs> if the SSC, if the employee is governed by payment of Gratuity Act, then fraction of the year should be considered number of years of service completed or a part thereof in excess of six months that should also be taken but if not governed by payment of Gratuity Act the fraction should be ignored he has served 25 years and eight months eight months ignore take only 25 years next one calculating the exempted amount the exempted amount is list of the following three amounts first actual Gratuity received 14 lakh given in the problem actual gratuity second half month average salary into number of years of service completed fraction ignored so already we have come calculated salary how much is the salary 38,000 we need half month average salary so 1 by 2 into 38,000 half month into number of years of service 25 years so 1 by 2 into 38,000 into 25 4 lakh 75,000 Third one, fixed amount, ceiling, 20 lakh. The least among these three is 4,75,000. So, exempted gratuity is 4,75,000. But we require taxable gratuity. It is asking in the problem to calculate taxable gratuity. So, actual gratuity received is 14 lakh. Minus exempted gratuity is 4,75,000. So taxable gratuity comes to 9,25,000 taxable gratuity. That's all. So in this video, I have completed four problems on gratuity. Two problems where the SSC is a government employee. A government employee. Whereas the third problem is SSC is a non-government employee and governed under payment of gratuity act. Fourth problem, non-government employee. Two cases are there, first case governed, second case not governed. So inshallah the next problem, we will do it in the next video.